Injection molded parts play a crucial role in our daily lives. From the ergonomic toothbrush handles we grip every morning to the sleek phone cases we use to protect our devices. But have you ever noticed the different tactile sensations they offer? Welcome back to Rapid Direct's channel. In today's video, we'll dive into injection molding surface finishes and give insights when choosing the injection molding surface finish for your project. Injection molding surface finish serves as an excellent method for enhancing the visual appeal and tactile experience of a product, thereby significantly contributing to its perceived value and overall quality. There are three major industry-recognized standards for injection molding surface finishes. They are SPI, VDI, and ModTech. Each standard offers a range of finishes to meet various design and application requirements. Let's start with SPI. SPI stands for the Society of the Plastics Industry. SPI has defined four categories for surface finishes in injection molding. Category A is the gloss finish, which is achieved through diamond buff polishing. This process involves using a rotating polishing wheel embedded with fine diamond particles. The result is a high-gloss, mirror-like surface ideal for products requiring a luxurious and reflective finish. It finds widespread use in various optical components, including lenses, mirrors, and visors, where its properties are highly sought after. Moving on to Category B, the semi-gloss finish. This finish offers a slightly less reflective surface compared to the gloss finish. It is achieved using sandpaper or abrasive compounds to create a smoother texture. The semi-gloss finish strikes a balance between gloss and matte, providing an elegant appearance while reducing the visibility of minor imperfections or scratches. Category C is the matte finish, which is created by using grit stones to create a non-reflective surface. The matte finish offers a soft and understated look, making it suitable for applications where glare or reflections must be minimized. It also helps hide surface imperfections, making it a popular choice for most injection molded parts. Lastly, Category D is the textured finish. This finish involves media blasting the surface to create a variety of textures. The textures can range from fine patterns to more pronounced textures, depending on the desired aesthetic and functional requirements. Textured finishes not only enhance the visual appeal of a product, but also improve its grip, making it useful for applications like handheld tools and consumer goods with no specific visual requirements. The SPI standards provide a comprehensive guide for a wide range of finishes to allow you to select the most appropriate option. By referencing the SPI surface finishes chart, you can communicate with the manufacturer your desired surface finish precisely. This will ensure consistency and quality throughout the production process. Next up is VDI. It is short for the Verein Deutscher Ingenieur, or the Association of German Engineers. The VDI surface finish is mainly processed by electrical discharge machining, EDM, when mold machining. It is an international standard for mold texturing of matte surfaces. These VDI surface finishes are categorized numerically, with lower numbers representing smoother finishes and higher numbers indicating progressively rougher textures. You can refer to the VDI surface finishes table provided below for further details. An example is the VDI 12, which is a highly polished finish achieved through processes like diamond buffing or chemical polishing. The VDI 18 is a slightly rougher finish. In this case, we start to see a texture that helps hide minor imperfections and offers a more tactile feel. This finish is achieved using abrasive methods such as sandblasting or bead blasting. As we progress to higher numbers, the texture becomes more pronounced. For instance, VDI 27 is a moderately rough finish with a distinctive visual texture while maintaining functional characteristics. Lastly, let's explore the surface finishes known as mold tech standards, which provide standardized options for mold texture patterns primarily used in commercial or saleable goods. Mold tech finishes have four categories, namely A through D. Among these categories, Mold Tech Category A finishes are the most commonly utilized. You can refer to the Mold Tech Surface Finishes table for further details. MT11010 is a popular fine grain texture that provides a smooth, subtle surface. MT11020 is a more pronounced texture, offering a deeper grain pattern that provides enhanced grip and a more tactile experience. Another notable example is MT11030, which simulates the appearance of natural materials such as wood grain. 
By leveraging Mold Tech surface finishes, you can add a unique touch to your injection molded products. Mold Tech offers a wide range of texture options, including various patterns like leather, wood grain, stipple, geometric designs, and more. This diverse range allows you to enhance the visual appeal and tactile experience of your products, making them stand out in the market. Now that we've covered the different surface finish standards, let's discuss some important considerations when choosing the right finish for your injection molded product. Firstly, you need to consider the tooling cost. Some finishes may require additional tooling or post-processing, which can affect the overall cost of production. Secondly, the choice of tooling materials is crucial. Different materials can affect the quality and durability of the surface finish. For example, certain finishes may work better with hardened steel molds, while others may be more suitable for aluminum molds. Lastly, the type of injection molding materials used can influence the surface finish. Certain materials may be more prone to showing defects. Some materials also require specific finishes to achieve the desired result. For instance, transparent or highly reflective materials may require a higher level of polish to minimize blemishes or distortions. You can refer to the table of material suggestions for injection molding surface finish for further detail. When considering surface finishes, it's advisable to collaborate closely with your injection molding manufacturer or tooling supplier. They can provide valuable insights into the feasibility, cost implications, and technical requirements associated with different finishes. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to reach out to us at Rapid Direct. We offer a wide range of injection molding capabilities and expertise to help bring your ideas to life. Our highly experienced and skilled experts will help you get the best results. Thank you for watching and learning about injection molding surface finishes with us today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Until next time, happy molding!